it's time to do some wrenching. Okay, what I got here is one of my garage sale finds. I think I paid like about five bucks for this about three years ago. And what I want to do is put a switch on it because right now you got to plug it in and unplug it to make it work. Um, I kind of like this thing. It looks like it's got like a washing machine motor maybe or could have been a dryer motor. I don't know what it came out of. But uh, growing up, my dad had one of these very similar to this. He had it mounted on his on his bench. And I saw this thing. I said, hey, this is cool. I like this thing. So I picked it up and uh, and it works. I mean, it works good. It's got the it's got the stone on it. It's got the wire brush here. And, you know, I'm going to take this off too today. I'm going to put a new stone on. You know, it's got like a little guard here. And it's pretty cool. So let's start putting the switch in. All right. First thing I want to do is mount it in there. Stabilize it a little bit. Some screws in it. And you can pick all these parts. I'll have a link below where to get these parts. I got them all at Home Depot. I should have knocked it out earlier, but I want to show you guys how to do it. Here's one. Yeah, you just bend these a couple times and they come out. This one's giving me a little hard time. Okay. They come out this way. I mean, you could put a plastic box here, but uh, these are a lot more durable, so, you know, withstand the elements out here. Okay, what I'm going to do is put about there. I'll cut it around here. What I'll do is mark this. So I'll know this, put this wire and this wire together and these, you know, I don't know which wires go together. Cut it right here. Split them and pull them apart. About that much. Be good. See now I see the mark. I can see where this one goes. And I can see where this one goes. Do the same with this. Split them apart. Okay. Well, I gotta get my wire strippers. Okay, we'll strip. Strip the black one first. Well, the black colored one, I should say. There. Okay, so that one. This one here is marked this one. Okay. These wire clamp connectors got to go on too. So. Okay, it goes through there. Okay, like so. I'll leave these all loose for now and then I'll, I'll tighten them up when it's all done. This one goes through. Put this on. Okay, that's this one. And what I'll do is. Put these two together, 
and put a wire nut on them. Get one of them. Okay, one in here. Another thing I like to do with these is put a little piece of tape around them. It won't hurt. secure Put that in there. same thing with these wires strip them one one up to you know one here one here and I like to do too is take these little ears off because they're in the way Tighten these in the inside. What you gotta do is just use a screwdriver. These wire clamp connectors. I mean, they don't have to be super tight because it's not like somebody's gonna be yanking on these wires, which at least they shouldn't be. That's it's not gonna. They're not going to vibrate loose or anything, so. Okay. Okay, uh. Start with this one, put a little curl around it. I think I'm going to make these a little longer. Make them just a little longer. I think this thing is cool and uh, it, it works good and you know I might as well save it but I'm not sure I could go out buy a new one but for the do-it-yourselfers is okay okay nice this one. It's like, to me, it's like these kind of old tools like this, you know, this old kind of homemade stuff. It's kind of like bringing back, you know, it's like keeping old cars alive. It's just something. I got a passion for stuff like this. Okay. Uh, it's just, okay, what I'm going to do is turn this around this way. This is just like uh, modernizing this whole device. 
at least put a switch on it and make it a little safer. In case you get your hand in there or something, you can shut it off. Okay, let's try it out. Plug it in. See, make sure it's off. There it goes. Got a little vibration to it. Yeah, cool. Alright, I'm going to change this out. Bought a new stone at, uh, these things are expensive and hard to find uh, around here for some reason, but I'm going at Home Depot. I had like two of these left. At home. I'll put a link down below. It's a six inch one. caps on them where you can put oil inside of them. Kind of neat. And you know, I've got the wire wheel here. I believe these are like opposite, so that's why it works. We're taking them off and on the threads on here. But you got the wire brush and you know these. It's a pretty cool little thing. Okay, I almost forgot you gotta tighten these down too. Get them a little snug, that's all. You don't have to be too tight. There. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching.